Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try beer for tacos from Off Color Brewing Company. Uh, they're out of Chicago. I've never had a beer from them from the can a Goza style beer with lime juice and salt added 4.8% uh, malts, wheat, uh, pills, flaked wheat and oats, hops, nugget. Uh, maybe they're just using the nugget, my guess is for bittering, and then they're using um, pink Himalayan salt, lime juice, and coriander. Kind of sounds more like a Christmas. Now, I know the uh, lime, but coriander seems more Christmassy to me. $2.19, I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. Uh, no date. I like the label though, but I'm guessing it's almost like a condiment that goes on tacos. Just saying. A uh, mouse holding a taco in the desert is what's on the can. Let's go ahead and get this open. Get it into a glass. Looks the part. There we go. Um, white bubbles uh, dissipating quickly. I'm guessing most Gosa's, if I remember correctly, won't keep ahead. I'm guessing it's the salt in there. Color, yellow, light yellow in color. A little haze, could be chill haze. Uh, a couple bubbles coming up was it for the uh, bubbles that were popping. Um, I was thinking it would be more carb than it is. Let's go ahead and smell. I wonder, I'm going to check untapped. Smells more funky farmhouse than anything. It says Ghost of Sour. Yeah, it's more of that farmhouse funky yeasty smell than anything. I can get the lime tartness in there, but... Yeah, I would say more farmhouse than anything. Let's go ahead and taste. More in the taste. You do get that salt presence in there, but that lime is really good in this one. Nice, refreshing lime, citrus, coriander. Maybe in the back, but I think that that salt, lime, citrus is what's through this. I wouldn't say it's refreshing, though. Like, the aftertaste, I think, is where it's at for this one. Um, you get that coriander, then you get that lime in there. But it's got a maltiness, like maybe that flaked wheat, oats, or added doing something and kind of mellowing out the actual goza taste to me i would this is like a pale ale thicker because of the oats it's like a pale ale that's not hopped enough and has lime added at the end of the boil with coriander. Though those oats have really thickened this beer up, it's like medium where a regular gosa is lighter, very light and maybe tart, salty. I really don't get the saltiness from it. But it is dry. That's a weird beer. I could see drinking it with tacos because of the lime. Yeah, it's like you get that malty, toasted malt kind of character in there. I, you're not going to get oats. Um, 
but at least the oats are letting you know it's a thicker beer. So that's why I would go more pale ale, under hopped with lime. This would be a good mystery beer, I guess. The nugget, I'm guessing they're just using as a bittering hop early in the boil just to give it some bitterness, which you can't really taste. That lime and that malt really takes over. Maybe the coriander in the aftertaste. Definitely a different beer going for a Goza style. Um, I don't think it has it. I since I said it twice, a pale ale under hopped with lime is what I would go go with. Um, you can't even say like a hazy IPA or a New England IPA, anything like that, that would use wheat or flaked wheat or something like that just to keep that protein in suspension so it had that hazy color that the, the oats are lending to the body but they're not really doing anything else, so that toasted malt is coming through. Uh, it sells, it says pills. It seems like it's a little bit more than pills, like the taste of Pilsner malt, but maybe it's the wheat adding a little bit, but it tastes more toasted than that, than like a Pilsner malt. Usually Pilsner, I would go with like a cracker malt, something like that, lightly toasted cracker. This is more than, you're, you're not getting that cracker out of this, but 3.75 out of 5, it's good. I would drink more. Would I buy it at 3 bucks? Probably not. Um, I don't think it fits the Goza style. I think it needs to have more salt. I would like to see a little tartness in there, um, but yeah, 3.75 out of 5. I think the can has pretty much everything on it. It says it's kind of a take on a margarita. Tart wheat beer with lime, key lime, orange, and pink Himalayan salt. Definitely don't get a lot of that. I could kind of see the wheat. Um, obviously, I don't know what the ratio is, but since it says wheat, then flaked wheat, that could be a wheat beer, I guess. But it would seem to me if it was a wheat beer, wheat would be listed first and have the most uh, pounds of grain in there. But since they're listing pills, I don't know. It, it's so hard because I made a five-gallon batch of a fruited sour, or fruited sour, a fruited session wheat beer. And that does have more two-row than it has wheat. So because of that, fruited session tells me that it's not a full wheat beer, that it's a regular, you know malt beer if you want to say that it you know almost like a uh i don't even know if you want to say like a light ipa because it usually with my wheat beers i stay under 25 ibus so because i got the recipe you could go above that because it's using more two row, so it's more of uh, an IPA than anything. So I would think this would be a pale ale more than anything, but they're calling out wheat. I don't know if I'm getting too deep into this or what, but it says we made a tart wheat beer, but on untap, they're calling it a, a Goza Sour. So I'm not sure why they would call it a Goza Sour on untap, but say it's a tart wheat beer. I don't get any tartness out of this beer. 
the smell, it's a farmhouse. It smells, it smells like a farmhouse yeast, like a yeasty beer. And you get that yeast taste in the very back, even the aftertaste. So I would say this, is, like I said, 10 times, um, pale ale under hopped with lime is what I get. 3.75 out of 5, like I said before. So if you enjoyed this video, so I don't have to rant anymore, check out some videos over here if you liked it. And until next time, happy brewing.